Hi everyone, it's Miss Perfect Tara again. Uh, today's book is called Thomas' a Snowsuit, also by Robert Bunch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko. And one of the cute things for me with this story is that I actually did have a student in my class, feels like forever ago, whose name was Thomas and he really did hate putting on his snowsuit, as you'll see in this story. Not exactly to this extreme, but still, Thomas's Snowsuit. <clears throat> One day, Thomas's mother bought him a nice new brown snowsuit. When Thomas saw the snowsuit, he said, that is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. If you think I'm gonna wear that ugly snowsuit, you are crazy. Thomas's mother said, we will see about that. The next day when it was time to go to school, the mother said, Thomas, please put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no, no, no. <clears throat> his mother jumped up and down and said, Thomas, put on that snowsuit. And Thomas said, no, 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 no. So Thomas's mother picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight, and when it was done, Thomas was in his snowsuit. Thomas went off to school and hung up his snowsuit. When it was time to go outside with all the other kids, jumped into their snowsuits and ran out the door. But not Thomas. The teacher looked at Thomas and said, Thomas, please put on your snowsuit. Thomas said, no, 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 no. The teacher jumped up and down and said, Thomas, put on that snowsuit. And Thomas said, no, 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 no. So the teacher picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other, in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight, and when they were done, the teacher was wearing Thomas's snowsuit, and Thomas was wearing the teacher's dress. When the teacher saw that she was what she was wearing, she picked up Thomas in one hand and tried to get him back into his snowsuit. They had an enormous fight, and when they were done, the snowsuit and the dress were tied into a great big knot on the floor, and Thomas and the teacher were in their underclothes. Just then the door opened and in walked the principal. The teacher said, it's Thomas. He won't put on his snowsuit. The principal gave him his very best principal look and said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no, 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 no. <laughs> So the principal picked up Thomas in one hand and he picked up the teacher in the other hand and he tried to get them back into their clothes. And when he was done, the principal was wearing the teacher's dress. The teacher was wearing the principal's suit and Thomas was still in his underwear. Then from far out in the playground, someone yelled, Thomas, come and play. Thomas ran across the room, jumped into his snowsuit, got his boots on in two seconds and ran out the door. <laughs> The principal looked at the teacher and said, Hey, you have on my suit. Take it off now. The teacher said, Oh, no, you have my dress. You take off my dress first. Well, they argued and argued and argued, but neither one wanted to change first. Finally, Thomas came in from recess. He looked at the principal and he looked at the teacher. Thomas picked up the principal in one hand. He picked up the teacher in the other hand. They had an enormous fight, and Thomas got everybody back into their clothes. <laughs> the next day, the principal quit his job and moved to Arizona, where nobody ever wears a snowsuit. The end. I hope you enjoyed that read of Thomas's snowsuit. And in my story, no, there was no changing of clothes or anything like that. Eventually, he put on a snowsuit. Anyways, until next time, hope you're taking care. Bye.